This is loyal UTS staff member Jose, who's worried on hearing that management will reduce leave conditions and protections in change management and performance management. This is Marcy from UTS Management. She'd agree that, yeah, that's a pretty accurate outline of their intention and wants to know, what are you going to do about it? Jose thinks that with the high cost of living in Sydney, a 4% annual pay rise is fair. Besides, Curtin, Edith Cowan and Central Queensland Uni got over 4% and 13 other unis have received up to 3.5%. Marcy says federal budget cuts mean UTS must be prudent in spending. What she means is, massive spending on infrastructure continues, but they'll cut the conditions for the people who actually perform and support the university's teaching and research. Think you can use your leave when it suits you? Think again. UTS management want to reduce staff control over their leave, affecting Christmas shutdown, long service and during emergency shutdowns. Marcy wants to have Jose take forced leave at any time of the year. Over Christmas, management want to force us to take five extra days of leave whether we want to or not. If you've run out of leave, it's leave without pay. Merry Christmas. Marcy also isn't keen on Jose planning ahead and booking long service leave in advance. Marcy wants your supervisor to be able to force you to take any amount of long service leave at any time with two months notice. At one stage management even proposed that when a crane falls on one of our buildings, or there's a fire, or deadly pandemic that warrants an emergency shutdown, Marcy will force Jose to take leave for the duration of the shutdown or face leave without pay. Hey Jose! Don't walk out before you've filled in your Neo leave form and have your supervisor's approval. You know what happens if you go on leave without approval. On top of all this, management isn't interested in better regulating academic workloads. The NTEU is pushing for clearer regulation of workloads, that is, clearly defined duties, a cap on teaching hours, and a fairer average of workload because extreme workloads aren't good for anyone, you know? Disturbingly, management want to remove protections and procedural fairness in performance management, in misconduct claims and change management. UTS espouses its support for human rights, but what about the rights of UTS staff? If you think we deserve better, then let's do something about it. NTEU members are fed up with this approach from UTS management. We've voted to launch a campaign, including industrial action, to force management to listen to the voices of staff. If you haven't already, join the NTEU, get involved in our campaign, take part in collective action, and check the union website for the latest. If we stand together, we can force management to listen and get a fair outcome for all UTS staff.